I've had no bookings for all day, yet again. I need to try and drum up some business. Maybe I should have taken that job at Take of when I had the chance. Uh, so you'd rather be working a nine to five than start a family? We've been through this. Yeah, and you said you wanted to concentrate on your wellness business, which I totally respect. But you don't need to be working for other people. You know I will always provide for us. Not all heroes wear capes. No. Some of us wear slightly stained veterinary scrubs. Go get them, Dr. Tom. We'll get the UTI under control. The medicine should help. We've already spoke about enrichment. We'll soon have pickles back on track. She's such a diva, I'm never quite sure. Well, all my best clients are, Mrs. Arkwright, but it's always safest to bring them in. What a lovely bedside manner you have, Mr. King. Well, I do my best. Brought your sustenance. Oh, you're a superstar. Mm. Oh, I should get that. Middle vet surgery. Oh, hi Vanessa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty full on, but I've beaten back the hordes. Oh no, really? Well, what's your address? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I can be there in ten. Okay. What's going on? <sighs> She's got a heifer with its leg stuck in a cattle grid, and it's panicking, so they need urgent backup. I'm gonna have to shut this place down. Unless... No. No, 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 no. I've been there, I've got the T-shirt. Yeah, absolutely. It's just due to circumstances out of our control, we are running upwards of an hour behind schedule. So I'm just calling people and pre-warning them before they set off. Of course. Yeah, you are more than welcome to take peanuts elsewhere for his procedure. Thanks. <laughs> Honestly, some people. Wasn't expecting to see you here, looking for Vanessa. Oh, they're out with some daft cow that got its leg stuck in a cattle grid. Didn't read the signs. Yeah, always one. So they've uh, nicked and nabbed you, have they? No, 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 I'm just doing Tom a favour. See? Resourceful, good in a crisis. This is why I wanted you. Well, I presume you've found someone already. Not really, no. That's why I was bugging your handsome husband yesterday to see if you were still interested. Yesterday? Yeah, I thought I'd give it one last try. Everyone loves a tryer. He did pass on the message. Yeah, of course he did. Yeah, he said you were focusing on your wellness stuff. Now I know why, because you're being headhunted. I said I'd be back quick as I could. Yeah, you have said a lot of things. Look, I'm sorry for leaving you to mop up after my mess. Dealing with, you know, angry clients and that. No, the clients have been fine. I've shuffled things around, but everyone seems happy. Right. Well, superstar as always. And then Susie came in, asking for Vanessa. She said that you told her I don't want to work at Take A Vow. I never said that. But you don't, do you? I thought you wanted to concentrate on your wellness retreat. Well, I was open to discussions, and it's not fair for you to go around saying no on my behalf. Yeah, but you've got other, bigger priorities. Your business, your family, me. I've just got this dream of us being the perfect little family. Coming home to you and the kids and the dogs. We've been through this. I know. Maybe it's my biological clock ticking. So what? Are you wanting me to give up my career? No, of course not. I'm proud of you for wanting a career. I'll be proud of you no matter what you did. I've just got this fantasy in my head, that's all. Probably overcompensating for my cruddy childhood. It's not a fantasy, Tom. We are gonna have all of those things, just when the time is right and when we're both ready, okay? <laughs> 